Hello and welcome to part two of the vibration monitoring and predictive maintenance video. In video one, we went over the hardware setup. In this video, we're going to go over the software setup. And we're going to start off by going to bannercds.com, then go to documentation, solution guide, solution guide vibration monitoring predictive maintenance, then solution guide vibration monitoring. That will bring you to the solution guide. Now there's a lot of detailed information here that I won't take the time to go into now. Okay, we're going to start at step four and download the pre-configured XML and script files. That will bring up the download configuration page. Scroll down and fill out the requested information and then click send. We'll send you an email that contains the needed XML and script files. Click retrieve document. Then click open. Extract the file and place them in a folder. I created a folder named temp files on my desktop, so I'm going to place the files there. Now if you haven't already downloaded the DXM controller software, you can do so here. Okay, so next open up the software, click file and open. This will take you to the XML file you just extracted. Click which format you want the information to be displayed in, either metric or standard, then open. Did you see that? Our program just set the controller up to read 16 different nodes. So instead of you spending long hours programming the controller, we did all the hard work for you. It's just our way of making your life easier. So next we're going to connect the software to the controller by going to device, connect settings, select the proper COM port, then click connect. So now we're going to load the script files by going to settings scripting, then upload file. Since I selected metrics for the XML file, I'm going to do the same thing here. After the file loads, add selected to startup so that the DXM will run the script every time uh, it restarts. Next we're going to load the DAT file. We're going to do that by clicking on upload file, then select all so that the DAT file will populate. Select the file, then open. To ensure the file was loaded, click logging, then refresh list. Now save the file. I'm going to name it demo and save it to my desktop. Whenever you make any changes, make sure that you save the file because the controller will not auto save. So next I'm going to send the file to the controller by going to device, send XML configuration to DXM, select the file, then open. Now because of the size of the file, this may take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to wait, but the status bar will let you know when you're at the end of the process. Well that does it for this video, thanks for viewing.